Batch editing and exporting in Luminar Neo is fairly easy to do. So first off, I'm just gonna apply a preset to this image. At the top, I'm gonna click on presets, go to my presets here. I've got one here for this image, so I'm just gonna click on that. And now we see the preset applied. Now what I'd like to do is apply this preset, all the changes it made, and I want to do it all at the same time. And that's what batch processing is, applying the same setting to multiple images. If I wanted to select a whole row, for example, I can just hold shift, click on the last photo. Now you'll notice the white borders around these images and they're all selected. The other way you can select is holding control. Now that way I can pick and choose which ones I want without selecting all the other images, right? Because if I hold shift now and click here, it's gonna select all of that. See, I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna pick a few images here. We'll select this one, this one, and that one. So there's four photos here. Hover over the original image, go to adjustments, and you'll see sync adjustments. The shortcut key for that is Control Shift S. You can go ahead and click that and Neil's gonna do its thing. Now watch these images here. There we go. So if I go to this image here, we'll see that preset has been applied. And you'll also notice in the edits tab, all the adjustments that I made, it keeps that history. So you can always make adjustments to it after the fact. Now there is one issue to keep in mind. When you create your own preset or if you're gonna edit it manually, try to avoid using masks. And I'm gonna show you why. So let's say I go into color section here and I'm gonna mask out the background. So I'm gonna use mask AI. Then we'll select the human mask. We'll go back into this section, show and invert. And what I'm gonna do is adjust the color of just the background, something like that, and then go back into the catalog. So now I'm gonna select these two images to do the batch process, and we're going to sync. And there you go. This is the issue if you use a mask. You can see the outline of the previous mask on this image. Now with the other image, you see that mask outline? Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> so just keep that in mind if you're thinking of doing batch editing. For batch exporting, it's actually fairly simple. You just select the photos you want to export. I'll just select three of these. We'll head over to the top, click on the export button. I'm gonna export it to a folder on my desktop. And I'll just leave the default settings. But one thing I want to point out, notice there's no way to name the files. You just could select your file type, the dimensions, sharpening, so on and so forth. Then we're going to go ahead and export it. I'm going to slide this over and you see that it's exported the one photo. There's the second one, and it will take some time. These are only three images. I tested doing 60 images. It took quite a few minutes to do. I'd say roughly four to five minutes. Mind you, these are pretty big files. They're raw files to begin with. So depending on your system, your mileage may vary. So we have our images here, but notice the file names are still the original file name. So unfortunately we can't rename it upon export, which I wish they would uh, do an update so that we can do that. But for the most part, it's a pretty easy process. So batch processing is a great way to edit multiple photos, saving a whole heck of a lot of time. Oftentimes you're taking multiple pictures of the same location. You could just apply the edit to all those photos. Now, before you go, in case you haven't heard, be sure to check out this video here. HDR Merge is coming to Luminar Neo, Skylim's first extension for Luminar Neo. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.